Today, which, as I'm recording this, I'm obviously recording this in advance. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. This video is for Friday, but I give myself a chance to work on things. But um, today, Wednesday, I made a uh, short film with my nieces, uh, Emily, Emily and Bethany. And in the short film, we decide we're going to use a muscle flash. And there's two things I have done to make my workflow better for a project like this. One, I've come up with a pretty decent proxy system for Kane Live. I know there's a built-in proxy in Kane Live, but it doesn't work for me very good. The other one, I, I've come up with a pretty decent system to use Kane Live 0.8 to do a good uh, muzzle flash using one of the muzzle flashes I got off Detonation Films and some artwork I found on Google Image Search. I also loosely took what was kind of described by, um, I'm sure you've heard of him, Freddy Wong. He does the special effects YouTube videos. I'll link to that one. And there's also, I forgot the bloke's name, good bloke, uh, Kane Live user, who also did a uh, muzzle flash tutorial, which I will point to in that one also. And I did a variation of his. He did it on an older version of Kane Live, so I'd kind of re-come up with a newer system, but they're almost identical so sorry about the another holy shirt recording I need some new shirts two tutorials here in this one I'm gonna try to edit them down so they're less than you know 15 minutes long okay kids I'm gonna show you something this is what I call the poor man's proxy now I'm gonna go ahead and rename this folder here rename big. There's a reason I'm doing this, and it'll be apparent in a second. Built into Caden Live, they have a system called proxy editing, where when you have large clips, like these ones, which we look at the specifications here, you can read it here, this is 1280 by 720, H.264, AAC audio, stereo yada 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 it's basically my computer is a core 2 duo has no problem playing back these videos however when it comes to editing and jumping around my computer struggles I'm not gonna lie it struggles a lot now transcoded these videos almost identical except for they have the same name but these ones, if you look at the properties, these ones are 640 by 360 JPEG video, PCM audio, uncompressed, mono. I only make it mono simply because it's easier to see the waveforms in the timeline of Kane Live. Now, I put all the videos and things that I need to be proxied into a file called source and every other piece of the video here. So I'm going to open up the project now, and you're going to see in Caden Live, it loads up really fast because, you know, they're small quality grip clips. Now, the picture quality is not the best, but I can totally just skim around, you know, no problem. And when I play, it may not show up, you know, in the screen capture, but while I'm watching, I'm getting full 30 frames a second playback, no problem. There's the, the, the flare I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, this allows me to edit even though I only have a Core 2 Duo. Now, you know, you do all your hard work here, and then when you're done, of course, you save it, close the application, 
And then at that point, it's just a matter of changing the files. Proxy. Rename the big. Back to just source again. And we open that Mamma Jam up again. It takes a little bit longer to load, obviously, because the clips are a little more uh, strenuous. The first time you load them, it re-indexes them again. So don't be surprised if it's you know, a little slower. But as you can see, the picture quality is much better on the preview. But there's like a serious delay when I, when I preview on this. Yeah, it's, it's having trouble playing back. Because my computer just not have the balls. Anyways, there's my poor man's proxy. I've tried the built-in one. I can't get it to work. This one gives me fine-tune control. Plus, I, I can use the transcode tool to transcode the clips. I make my own transcode settings through... Down here, obviously, you can add your own. I added mine, which I call, uh, where is it here? Oh, here's 720p proxy, where I have all the settings. It might be good to learn a little bit about FFmpeg to make your own settings. And you can make some really, you know, small files that way. They'll load very quickly. Anyways, there it is. There's the poor man's proxy. The first part. This is the muzzle flash I've made. Now I'm going to put a link below where you can download this little muzzle flash. It's actually from it's from Detonation Films. Okay, as you see, the timeline's here. I can scroll back and forth and uh, find the right spot. I add the sound effect. I usually add the sound effect first because that makes it easier to tell where I need to be. Then I take the muzzle flash, add a composite layer change it to screen 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 and then let's still listen to that real quick see it looks all right it's in the wrong spot but it looks good so I'll hit play yeah cool 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 okay but now i know to uh pan and zoom which is here we are go back to the first frame and original size now, the problem I have is it doesn't show the whole thing, so you have to adjust it by guesstimation. But usually it's pretty good. So that looks about right. I'll test it out. <laughs> looks good, but not quite on. So let's nudge it around just a little bit. There we go. Try that one. <laughs> and it looks perfect. Now, don't forget, you can also use the rotate and shear tool. And uh, keyframe will rotate to touch up if you don't have the right angle and whatnot. But that's basically it. Okay, so um, hopefully these two techniques will help you guys make your videos better, especially when doing larger projects. Peace out, kids, and I'll see you guys soon. Yeah.